Hi, this is Peter Broom Hall on the IT Broom YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at taking website data and importing them into flashcards on Brainscape.com for use on their website, their iPhone, iPod apps, iPad apps, and whatever else they have in the pipeline. So the thing is about Brainscape, there's only one acceptable file format that they will accept, and this is what we call a comedy limited text file or the .csv file. And the other little uh, caveat about this is that they will only accept a UTF-8 format and that's really why I wanted to do this video just to show you how to get around that. So the process that we'll be going through is we'll be importing web data into Excel, we'll be saving it as a comedy limited file We'll be then converting that file into this UTF-8 format using Notepad++ and finally just simply importing the file onto the Brainscape site. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you might need if you don't already have it is the Notepad++ program. This is very complex, uh, use in programming and other things. But it's useful for our purposes, and it's the only program I know of, really, in which I can do this. It's, you can see it's got great ratings, so if you want to download it, it's on a number of sites. I just happen to use download.com a lot. That's just me. You can download it from wherever you like. Okay, let's go over to the data that we want to import. I just happen to be on Wikipedia for the sake of this example. and Let's say I want to uh, list the countries, and I want to know the country and its capital city and I want to memorize those for the whole of Africa okay so first thing we're going to do is with the left click of a mouse we're just going to highlight this and we're going to press control C and we're going to copy it and then we're going to dump that into Excel I've already got just a blank workbook open here I'm going to right click this rather than control V or the shortcuts because I want to go straight to this one, match destination formatting. That will take out any of the hyperlinks and everything else that was in the uh, in the data set and mucking things up. So try that again. There we go. Okay. So you can see that we've got our format here. We've got something that's delimited by uh, hyphens, we can see here. So let's get right away and convert this because what we wanted to have a question column over here with a country in and over here in B column we want to have our answer format, our answer column. So to do that go to data, we want to go to text to columns, in fact we want to highlight the whole thing first and then go to text to columns. And now it's a delimited format, that's fine. You see here it's it's not currently uh, divided into columns because we haven't set our delimiter. If you have uh, things that are uh, delimited by commas, you can select the comma like that. Um, and uh, another one might be uh, the colon or any other mark that they have. In this one it's the hyphen, so if I do that, you notice then we've got Algiers and we've got actually three com three columns there because we have a hyphen there we also have a hyphen there so it's going to split it into three but that's not too bad because it's only the one that's actually doing there anyway so let's click next let's click finish and then the next thing you want to do is just tidy up your results so let's copy that control C and put that I'll we'll do one hyphen there control V put that back in there I can now delete that one. Uh, I've got Bissau, Bissau here. That's absolutely fine. Now you'll want to uh, clean up probably any data that you get. You might get data that's very clean. I am to know the um, the way this is uh, done is it sometimes gives you the capital city, in this case Porto Novo, followed by the largest city. So I'm going to just take out the largest city, because that's not a capital city. I'm just going to go down, down through here. Uh, Victoria Seychelles is fine. Uh, this one, Cape Town, is the, uh, the largest city, and these are the bigger cities. Dar es Salaam, I happen to know, is the biggest city in Tanzania, with Dodoma. Is that how it's pronounced? Probably. 
Dodoma, there we go, is a capital city. And so you can go through there, you know, this one's disputed, I don't need that in my data, and so on, just clean up your data. I'm not going to go through everything here, just for this example. Um, the next thing is that, as I said, we're going to be changing this into comedy limited uh, format. So let's say my uh, mine was going to end up being Mr. Peter, comma, Broomhall. Well, because it's delimited by commas, you can see it'll be Mr. Peter, and then, unfortunately, Broomhall, because so it'll convert it into three columns. Brainscape won't like that because it wants a question column and an answer column. And this third column, it'll just reject and your file won't be imported. So to get around this, just clear this data. Okay, to get around this, we'll just simply take out all the uh, commas in the document. So if we press Control F and go to replace, let's just now for the time being just replace all the commas with semicolons and then that will work fine then if we replace all of those okay it made one replacement okay find next ah, I can't find where it was but anyway that's fine I just want to know where that was find next Ah, of course, that Victoria Seychelles, yeah, it was Victoria Comma Seychelles, which was the correct name for it. But now we've got a comma there, a uh, colon, a uh, semicolon even, instead. Okay, so we got that, enough time wasting. Let's not, okay, instead of saving this as the Excel file, which it won't import, we want to save it as a comma separated values file. So go into there, I'm going to go into flashcard files, which is where I'm going to store these. Uh, what did I say this was? This is Africa. So put that as the name. And then as a type, we want to scroll down to where it says the CSV. We want this CSV one. Do you see other ones for MS DOS and Mac? We just want the regular one. Whether I say it was CSV. Okay. And save that. And this will come up with a couple of warnings. The first one is it says about multiple sheets. If I've got information on sheet two and sheet three, only the data on sheet one will actually be imported. So that's fine. I can click yes on that. And then it's going to tell me that any formatting I might have might get rejected because it's going to be on a text file. So that's fine. I'm going to click yes to that. Now it's going to ask me to save it. And I don't want to because I've already just saved it. So click don't save. And there we have it. So now when I go into here, into my documents, I see my file here is .csv, and now I can open it with Notepad++. Click that. This is a very simple process. You can actually go through here. It's nicely laid out, nice and simple, so we can actually go through and just verify that all the information is correct. I'm in Egypt, Monsieur, what the hell? Probably the other name for media. Take that out, take that out, whatever. Okay, go up to encoding. That's where we want to be, encoding. And you've got encoding UTF-8, we we'll actually want to convert it over to the UTF-8. There you go, save that. I can close that now. And I am done, and that's all there was to it on that one. So now, when I come back to Explorer, I can go back to the Brainscape site. And now we have all the fun now. You can see I'm on my IT Broom account. That's fine. I want to go to my library. Okay, I've got an IT broom video section. That's fine. I'll just open that one up. It said it has no decks. And I want to import it into here. So just click on import. Now this will give you the split one. I actually just want the simple one. Answer, uh, question on one side, answer on the other. That's fine for me. Uh, I don't need a card prompt. I don't. I only need the simple one and deck objective. I don't need. I know what it is. Countries and capitals. Simple enough. Next one, we just want to find where we actually store it. So if I go to libraries, I go to documents, go back to my flashcard files. Now Africa.csv. Open that. And as long as I converted it properly and there aren't any extra commas in the document, 
this should now import or ride. OK, uploaded successfully. Added edit the cards. There you go. And you can see you can do that for any information from any website, anything that you've created in Excel, in Excel or wherever else. You can use that simple method. Just remember, just get that Notepad++ there, encode it into UTF-8, and you're away to go. Okay, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.